Hello, welcome to this short video that is designed to show our secondary school users um, how to find resources in the Orange Ulster BOCES media catalog. First I'm going to show you that one nice feature is that you can browse as a guest. If you haven't set up your account yet, you can do that. I'm going to click on this browse as guest and I'm going to click on this. I want it all so I can show you some of what we have in here. So um, anyone can actually go in and do a search and um, look at the titles and the subject headings and the descriptions. Once you actually go to stream a resource, it will ask you to log in. But I want to show you we have 236,343 resources in the media catalog. And from this page that is pulling up all of the resources, you can see if you look along the right side uh, a number of ways to limit down so you're, obviously no one wants to look through a whole list of over 200,000 items. So you can limit by the type of resource and in parentheses it's telling you how many resources in the system match that type. So there are over 102,000 video streaming clips. There are images, there are articles, photographs, audio, etc. And don't forget if you see this view more, click on that and it will tell you more items. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we have lots of different formats. There's audience level you can limit by. You can limit by language. You can limit by vendor. If you use the catalog for a while, you might become find one that you particularly like. We really don't encourage people to just do that because if you're only looking at one resource, you're sort of defeating the purpose of having access to all of them at the same time. You can limit by a year range. You can limit by subject heading, by a series title, uh, by the length of the resource, producer, etc. Back to home. There is a, a previous video that was created that explains all the ins and outs of signing in. So I'm not going to go through that today. I'm going to sign in. And you do want to sign in with your work email. I'm just using a personal email because I want to show you what a, a user's looks like versus what an admin login looks like. So on the main screen, once we're logged in, you can see all these icons and those will tell you all the different vendors and products that are integrated into the media catalog. All right, but in general, you're probably going to come into the media catalog with a subject in mind. So we have a search box. I'm going to type in Martin Luther King speeches and hit enter. It's telling us there's 7,838 speeches. And remember on the right side you can go and take your search and limit it down. I just want to look at video streaming. That takes it down to 3,109. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see each of the listings has the title, it has a short description, it tells you how long it is, usually there's a picture, there, there may be other information such as this is part of a series and it's giving you some subject headings that you can also search under. And then I'm just going to click on one of them to show you. So we're viewing this. This is a Learn360 resource. And all of our resources in, in general, when you pull up a streaming video, it's going to have a play button, so we'll click on this and the video will start playing. So I'm going to stop it there. All the videos can be made full screen so by clicking on the appropriate icon. I'm going to scroll down and you'll see there's a description of the video. There are tags which are like subject headings so you can click on those and it will take you to some possibly appropriate information that you might be looking for and they're showing you some of the rest of this famous speeches series, the videos that you can get to straight from there. 
underneath the title we have a number of things. If we click on citation, it will show you the citation for the video. So this is a good way to help students learn to cite correctly and you can then integrate into a variety of different resources, easy big noodle tools, etc. Also, sometimes you will see a download button. If, so if we wanted to save this to our computer, we could do that by clicking download. Sometimes you might not see um, a download option and that might be because the particular producer did not give permission for the resource to be downloaded. So if you can't download it, you will always have a link, um, which is your alternative way to downloading. And so the embed, this is providing us embed code and a link. So on this link, you're free to copy this and put it in Google Classroom or integrate it into a PowerPoint or have your students integrate it into some kind of technology. There's also an embed code that you could copy if you wanted to put it on, let's say, in Google Classroom. And it will actually show the a little box with the video and the little play button. type in photosynthesis and spelling it correctly, hopefully. Now it's showing us that there are 295 items on photosynthesis and on this example I want to show that you can limit it to a particular producer vendor. So Tic Tag is a science product. I'm going to click on that because I know I like that resource. I'm going to click here You notice it looks a little different. It's because it's from a different vendor. But here is our video play button. It starts to play. Lots of animals depend on plants for their food, including I'm humans. To stop it here, it shows us how long this video clip is. This one has closed captioning, and you can make it full screen and you can also share it. And on Twig they provide the transcript of the video and they are suggesting a related video that you might be interested in. So let's look at another resource. I click home again. I want to show you the advanced search feature that was on the home page. I'm going to click this show more search options. So there's a number of things you can do from this page. I'm going to type in Aretha Franklin in the search box and unfortunately she recently passed away. Um, under this all words I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to pick exact phrase and that way we'll get Aretha Franklin and we won't get Benjamin Franklin. And then I'm going to see if we have any streaming audio click on audio streaming and search. It didn't come up with anything, so I'm going to go back, unclick audio, and I'm going to click video streaming, and I'm sure there'll be audio of her in some of the video. And it's coming up with three items. And I'm going to click on view and learn 360. So this is from um, Weston Woods, and it, I believe it's a book on the Star Spangled Banner, and she's, so I want to point it out that this is what the segments in the media catalog look like. So instead of having to show all 15 minutes of this resource, you can show the segments very easily, or um, you can download and share just that segment. So. I'm going to play a little bit of this.
how to read them. And on Learn360, on this resource, they are providing also a transcript like they had in the twig. Okay, finally, I'm going to go back to the home page and show you a couple of nice features of our media catalog. If I mouse over this My Account and go down to My Digital History, it saves everything that you have streamed on your own account. So you can go back and see what you've looked at and then you can actually play it right from the screen. So this saves you the necessity of having to keep notes of things and um, I think it's a nice resource for folks. And then under this resource lists, if I go to my lists, I might not have any saved, but when you go in and do a search, let's go back to photosynthesis. I'm going to limit to streaming. You can go back here and save things to a list. So I'm going to click save to list and then it asks me to name my list. And this is only going to be available to me. And then you can put in a description. I'm going to save it. And so now that first item is saved to my photosynthesis list. And then I can just go down and whichever ones I want from this list, I can save it to that list. And once I have more than one list saved, you will click on the drop down arrow and you'll see and pick which list that you want to save it from. So that's another way to save resources. If you have suggestions for us, um, please um, feel free to, to use this form and to contact us with any questions. And I hope that this was useful in helping you to get started using the media catalog. Thank you.